I'm gonna work on my Cub Cadet. Uh, it uh, stopped running on me yesterday while I was cutting the backyard. So we are going to fix this guy. Um, I had to get it up to the top of the driveway. I used my four wheeler to do that. But before I moved it, uh, and before you ever move a uh, hydrostatic mower, you wanna disengage the wheels. So this is a 2009 Cub Cadet RZT 50 inch deck. Uh, I'm gonna show you right now how to disengage the hydrostatics. If we go, and now we're on the right hand side or the left hand side, uh, right hand side if you're sitting in it, but you'll see underneath where you sit, there's a sticker that tells you how to release um, the transmission. And so if you follow those stickers, uh, that'll tell you what to do. You're going to lift and pull out uh, that little wire clip. And that little wire clip is right there. So right now mine is disengaged and I'm just gonna show you if you pull, go up, and then in. Now that hydrostatic is actually engaged. Since I'm working on it, I want it disengaged. So I pull it out and get that grommet kind of hang hung down in the middle. That disengages uh, this hydrostatic. There is one on each side by each wheel. Disengage those, then you can push or pull uh, your mower where you need to move it. This is convenient if you just want to push it around the garage. Uh, I needed to disengage these so I could tow it up to my driveway. That's it.